Alright, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Siege of Avalon, here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. We're here back in the, <laughs> the Outer Keep again, and if you recall last time, we went and spoke to Mudam and told him about the traitors who were digging a, a tunnel to join up with the Sha'ul diggers, strange as that may seem, both for traitors here in Avalon and people digging in among the Aul who don't dig in the earth as they don't like it. It goes against their beliefs. But anyways, so we told him about that, so that's that's great. And he warned us again about the large humanoid wandering the village. And we've heard about this before from the letters the Aul had. They were hoping that, you know, hmm, this creature and Corvus would kill each other. But we're going back out into the village again. This time, we are in search of Corvus himself. I mean, we've been in search for Corvus this whole time after a fashion, but now we're really in search of Corvus. We think we might have a bead on where he is. He's at the, the ruins of a library, most likely. If you recall, we also equipped our longbow. We've upgraded our equipment. Oh, that's right, we found some stuff. Hmm. Oh, I brought these this armor just on the odd chance that we, I don't know, maybe it'll become useful to have with us when we have to fight. Hand to hand. Hand to hand to hand to hand to hand. Doobie doobie doo. Doobie doobie doo. Alright. Over here to village four. Which is where I think. No, wait, it's in village. Never mind, it's in village two. Three, I mean, sorry. I wanted to check something right quick, though. Make sure we I didn't miss something. Let's go over these <laughs> grizzly bodies. No. <laughs> no. Well, maybe maybe I'm wasting my time. Oh my gosh, that sound effect is really kind of annoying. <laughs> no, he definitely has nothing. Some of these dudes, you have to... They really are... Poor. Their kit is so basic, you wonder. Alright, Wolves, I... I See, now here's the thing, wolves. I don't even believe you're actually wolves. I think you're just a bad recording that's lo looping a little too much. Eh, whatever. We'll go back here. Fine. Jeez. Stupid wolves. Now, we have to find what looks to be a library. Is this it? Ah. Is this where we need to go? Let's actually save our game. Save, save, save. Yes. Can we go down here? Yes, we can. Oh. An ogre. Nah, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it's a, it's me. You can tell. Woohoo! <laughs> How are you missing, Talon? He's huge and slow. <clears throat> My goodness, dude. My cursor disappeared for a second. I think he's also regenerating. That's that's great. 
Get some mad regeneration. Dude, you need to hit him more rapidly. Dude. I don't know if I can beat him like this. Dude, slow down and... Oh my goodness, dude. How are you missing, you utter freaking turd? Dead. Callan, you are an utter worthless piece of crap. You suck really bad. Hmm. Question is, is that <laughs> because we should be scaling up our <laughs> our our stats more? <sighs> Uses a lot, and I don't know if I... well. Let's try it again. We'll try it again. Hmm. All right. No, 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 no. Resume. Or maybe I should... Nah, see, you really get us quick. I see, you have to be on nibble and... Oh my goodness, dude. Dude. See, Callan's just like, I want to just sit here. Quit running so damn much. Move when I tell you and don't run so... Oh my goodness gracious. Ah! Literally, he just stood there like a flipping idiot. Man, all my Let's Play characters are pissing me off today. I was playing Landstalker earlier and Nigel was pissing me off. Let's try this. Hey, dummy. You blew that one, Callan. Good job, you ass. Does someone's ass need a hat? Because you're the man. Move, dumb. Oh my goodness. His regeneration is crazy. Oh, that was a good hit. Move, Helen, move, you idiot. Callan, you little piece of crap. Corvus, if you can hear it, your brother's an idiot. That was a good hit. Move, move, move. Move, 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 idiot. Ah, oh, come on. No, 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 no. You dingleberry. These controls are pretty terrible. I think I got him. I got him. No, not quite. Move it, dude. Move it. Callan, you suck on toast. Oh my god, dude, you suck so badly. Nothing has sucked as bad as you have you. Ever. Teletubbies don't suck as much as you do. I'm not clicking on move, move, move. He's standing there just like drooling on himself, contemplating being stupid. Good job, stupid. Well, good job.
Good job, idiot boy. I'm killing. <laughs> Move it, dumb frickin' frackin'. Dude, for reals, these hitboxes are... People who made this game, you need to be punished. You probably are being punished by obscurity, probably. But still. can't hit the broadside of a barn. This guy basically is the broadside of a barn. And Callum can't hit him. Oh my goodness, dude. Why do you suck? Quit running away. Hit him, you piece of turd. You're like the floater, dude. That was a good shot. Maybe we'll get him. Maybe we won't. Move, move, dude, dude, move. That was a good shot. Move, 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 move. Got him. Oh my gosh, Callan. You don't deserve any praise for that. You deserve punishment. What a jerk you are. You're an utter jerk. Oh, wow. He has someone's armor. An ogre's loincloth. <laughs> I can't believe you would stoop to peeling off a dead ogre's smelly, dirty loincloth. Well, it suits Callan just fine. Okay. A fine curious. A crude club. An ogre's club. Oh, my goodness. That is quite the powerful weapon. 15 to 30. Jeez. Steel gauntlets. Fine steel pauldrons. Fine steel knee pads. A great helm. We'll take his club. We'll leave his loincloth. Are you sure you don't want it, you know, Callan? It's right up your alley, you idiot. Why? Huh? Why did that... Could the ogre not go back here or something? There he is, a man of the hour. Corvus! Little brother! What are you... What are you doing here? Never mind. You must be here to find me. I'm glad to see you, little brother. I'm proud. Except I saw your fight, and that was terrible. You've really, really... Uh, you must be the luckiest man alive. But anyways, I'm still proud. Now listen to me. I have terrible news that Sir Roth must be made aware of as soon as possible. Save your strength, brother. You can tell me once we're safely behind Avalon's walls. There's no time. You may have to bring back this news on your own. Don't be ridiculous. We'll take you to see Brother Crosby at once. Spirits, you're burning up. I'm fine, little brother. I'm just a little woozy. Dizzy. Your wounds are infected. Eat this, brother. The monks say it will help. Yes, mother. Ugh, spirits, that's disgusting. And I feel not a bit better either. What is that? Medicine. And you will feel better, I promise. For now, let's leave this pl place, all right? Well, we've no time to argue. I will come if I can. Now pay attention. In case I do not survive, you must relay this message. Except for a few men, our entire force was ambushed and destroyed. I survived only because, while riding rear flank, I went to investigate what I thought to be a group of riders separating from our company. When the attack came minutes later, I was cut off from the company. Well, who else survived then, and where are they? General Overon has betrayed us, little brother. He has betrayed Avalon and all the people of the Seven Kingdoms. It was Overon and his lieutenants that I spotted riding away from the company. They were distancing themselves from the coming ambush. They knew what was coming and didn't want to risk getting caught in the slaughter. No, Corvus, what are you saying? I mean... I didn't sort of already put two and two together, given that it was General Overon's men. 
on his orders, blocking that secret passage that they were digging out to the Abul, but what are you saying? With the cries of battle echoing over the landscape, I found Oberon and his lieutenants meeting with Mithras himself. If you recall, Mithras is the leader of the Sha'awol horde. One of Avalon's high council and the leader of the Awul were chatting pleasantly before my eyes for spirit's sake. Like they were merely resting after a quiet afternoon's ride, they acted as, they acted as if hundreds were not spitting out their last breaths. But ten minutes away, sweet spirits, how could they pretend not to hear the screams? The screams of hundreds, little brother, hundreds, all my friends, all there, of all there that day, I alone survived. Corvus, I'm sorry. The last thing I saw was Oberon handing Mithras a satchel. It took no imagination to guess its contents, and when I realized what was happening, I immediately turned and headed towards Avalon at full gallop. I was spotted, of course. The Awu were all over the area. Somehow I made it back to the village before my horse was cut out from under me. I raced through the buildings, trying to get to the gate, but was cut off. I ducked around the corner and found a hole where my feet expected a floor. It was a bad fall, but it likely saved my life. And the ogre. What of the ogre? I dragged myself over here and stayed as silent as I could. I have been fading in and out of consciousness. I don't know where the ogre came from or when, but it's been shouting and bashing at something for hours. Whatever it was doing, I don't believe it ever bothered looking around that corner. Or if it did, it fancied me its prisoner or a future meal. Well, there was a boulder trapping it in here, put there by the Aul. Its confinement drove it into a frenzy, it seems. When I arrived, it had succeeded in moving the boulder enough for me to squeeze past, but not yet enough to escape itself. That's what it was doing, huh? I could not gather enough strength to peek around the corner. Well, we must make haste to Avalon, brother. In truth, Sir Roth must surely needs, most surely needs to hear your tale, but he needs to hear it from you. Come now, I'll help you. Alrighty, you have received some training points. How much did we get it? I don't know. Oh, not much. A little bit, though. And we have Corvus in our party, but he is not in good shape. Let's see, we can control Corvus. Hey, Corvus. How's it going, pal? Um, well, there's Corvus. <laughs> His stats aren't too good right now. Still better than us in mysticism and combat, though. Jeez. Um, how do I unselect him? Ah, oh, like that. Okay. Yes, you can get people in your party. Now he'll be just following us, like a you know, kind of like dead weight. Let's see quests. I have found my brother alive, but not well. We must return to Avalon as quickly as possible to relate to Sir Roth the news Corvus bears. Yep, oh, big dumb ogre. Poor guy. So, um, Callan, your fight with that ogre, you can't hit the broadside of a barn. Oh, oh, wow, we, we rushed ahead. Let's see what the journal says. Ah, oh, there's Corvus. <laughs> Today I have rescued my brother from his captor, a brutish ogre. The immense beast had, its, had arms the thickness of tree trunks and carried a club that he swung at me with terrible beast-still strength. After besting the creature and reloading several times, I was elated to discover that Corvus was alive nearby, even though he was in bad condition. Untreated wounds had formed scars on his arms and face, and at first I thought he was dead, but he forced himself to his feet, leaned against the library cellar walls, and told me something that chilled me to the bone. General Oberon is a traitor. He had struck a deal with the Shah Awul. In exchange for his life and a few liberties, he had led a third of Avalon's defenders to a bloody ambush. With that sobering thought on my mind, I must I must throw Corvus's arm over my shoulders and take him to the monks for healing. Wow, what a, what a jerk. Oh, wait, here's what's his face? Sarath. The lookouts reported your success. Congratulations and well done. You are a credit to us all, Corvus. It is good to see you alive and back in Avalon. Sir, we have disturbing news. Yes, Mudam has already told me about your discovery under Southgate. 
We have launched an investigation to search out the traitors and their benefactor. Someone with great authority has been sending aid to them. Has been aiding them. To keep a conspiracy of this scale secret is no easy matter. Most troubling is the fact that whoever is behind this is willing to sell us out to the shot. Oh. I'm afraid it reaches the highest level, sir. Corvus witnessed General Overon meeting with Mithras himself. Overon delivered to him a satchel of documents moments before the army was ambushed. Overon? That, this is disastrous. Overon was a council member. He knows everything. I must inform the other members immediately. Take your brother to the monks and see that they tend his wounds. Report to Mudam. Report back to Mudam and get, then get some rest. Tomorrow morning, report to my private chambers in the inner keep. Let no one else know about Overon's actions. Understood, sir. Wow. There goes Sarath. There goes Sarath. Sir Roth bid me to make a final report to Mudan before getting some sleep. First, though, I should deliver Corvus into the hands of the healers. Brother Crosby is the best of them, so it is to him that I shall speak. Hmm. Sir Roth reacted very badly to the news that Overon is a traitor, as well as he might, with Overon knowing all he knows as a member of the council. As well he might. With, oh yeah, over on at knowing what he knows. I cannot help thinking that while Sir Roth will do everything possible to minimize the damage this has caused Avalon, somehow I believe it will take even more than his efforts to save us all. It will take Callan's efforts. He's a hero. Even if he can't shoot straight. It was I was very touched to find that General Roth thought enough of my brother to meet us at the gate of the keep when he learned of Corvus's rescue. His pleasure, however, quickly evaporated as we reported everything we had learned. First, I relayed to Roth the news of the tunnel system. I had already reported to Mudam. He indicated that he had already learned of the tunnels. The Corvus's news was another matter. He was obviously taken by some surprise at the betrayal, but it wasn't until Corvus talked about the satchel he saw Oberon giving to Mithras that I noticed the rage in Roth's eyes. Muttering something about warning King Vortigern, Roth turned, took his leave of us to report these developments to the High Council. As Roth turned to leave, he bade me come, bade me see to my brother's care and get some rest. I am also to report to his chambers in the morning. Thus ends your first chapter of the Siege of Avalon. Yeah, this is the basically the end of the first chapter. Alrighty, come on, Corvus, brava. Let's see, actually here, we'll take off our hat so we look more like. Nah. Back to the game. See? We both have that straw colored hair. <laughs> we don't have that classic medieval look, though, like, you know, Corvus does. That's fine. We're trying not to get our hair caught and things. Wait. This way, I think. We're not going to Brother Matt, Friar Masses. We're going to Brother Crosby. Are you? That's Brother K. That's Belinda, or whatever her name is. Yeah, Belinda. I think... That's Brother Curly. Yeah, yeah. That's probably Brother Mo. <laughs> oh, here's Brother Crosby. Brother Crosby? Brother Bing Crosby? <laughs> Alrighty. Praise be Corvus! Rest assured, we will take good care of your brother. Thank you, brother. I know he's in good hands. Alrighty. You've received some training points. Woohoo, yeah! Training points! We've got a decent amount of training points. Alrighty. I have left Corvus in the capable hands of Brother Crosby. I hope he grows well soon. Avalon needs everyone possible, especially one of my brother's stature. Yes, indeed. Alrighty. Well, that's done. 
Corvus is rescued. Let's talk to the other healers. Maybe they'll say something. Okay, our young benefactor returns. How may I help you today, lad? I was just wondering if you had further need of my services, brother. No, lad, not at the moment. But it is kind of you to offer. Let's see. Any new? I'm just passing through. How goes everything with you? Ah, lad, we've been very busy here distributing medicine. If you want to know anything more, you have to talk to the soldiers. I'm to the bottom of my fourth pot of cappuccino. Belinda, more coffee. Um, I'll do that. And uh, get some sleep, brother Mo. You can't do everything by yourself. Farewell. <laughs> more coffee. Welcome back, sir. Do you need anything? Just keeping my ears open. Anything useful? Nothing of import since we last spoke, sir. Those of the patients still not in the fever are recovering, so they don't speak much save to ask for more water, and our healers are far too busy to care about gossip. Well, thank you anyways. Well met, sir. <laughs> how have things gone for you in the village? Quite well, thank you. And here, how's the situation here? Improving every day? <laughs> fever wounded coming in here day-to-day -day basis, and more of our serious patients are surviving. The, s the good spirits will preserve us. Sure they will, brother Cur Curly. Bleh. Let's go talk to, say hi to Friar. Let's see, Brother K, and then we'll talk to Friar Masses. Hell, you look more battle hardened than the last time we met. You look more battle hardened than the last time we met. I trust all is well. What's new? Since you last were here, things have been improving. I understand that the Awul are losing heart. Perhaps it won't be long before we break this awful siege. Let's hope so. I don't know if they're losing heart or whether the scouts in the village are losing heart. <laughs> Any rumors? Okay. Well, as you might imagine, the chalice is having the expected effect. All soldiers who visit here leave with leave in high spirits. We are saving more and more of the wounded bef than before that we would have lost. Oh my goodness! We are saving more and more of the wounded that before we would have lost. Your find is truly making a difference. Well, that is excellent news. Okay. Nice. So, on that, let's see, let's talk to the guards patrolling. How may I serve you, my lord? Any rumors? <laughs> I hear that Captain Calvarix spit in the eye of Mithras the other day. Is that true? Uh, I suspect that that one is false, but only out of circumstance. If Calvarix were ever in that position, I'm sure he would spit at Mithras, as would we all. Too true, my lord. Good day, soldier. How may I help you? Any rumors? A friend of mine from Aratoy said that Captain Kalvarik mortally wounded Mithras. He's not a bad chap for an Aratoyan. That's quite a rumor, soldier, but I hope it's true. Fair enough for now. <laughs> Good morning, sir. General Roth is waiting for you in his quarters. You better hurry now. Uh, we're not headed there yet, actually, but they're no longer blocking our way. Let's go say hi to What's her face? Yeah, Bonnie. My lord, you should have warned me first. I don't want you to see me looking as I do. Oh, lady, you look fine to me. Fine indeed. Perhaps, but I think I could always look better for a hero. Now, if you'll tell me what, if, what it is you want, perhaps I can help you. For this blush reddens my face further. Oh, no, no more than to see it. I mean, hear your latest news. Some of the quicker will be in luck tonight. There's real beef in this tonight's supper. Would you like a portion set aside for you? No, I should ever. I should take my meal with the other soldiers. I do, however, thank you for your offer, and shall remember it with gratitude. Fare thee well, my lady. Let's go talk to Anora, the cook, to see how she's doing. Ah, oh, there she is. I've been hearing strange things about you. They say you're some kind of ancient hero, reborn into the world of the flesh. Is this true? I think not, ma'am. I found some chalice, and everyone has become excited about it. Well, your effect here has been nothing sh nothing but uplifting. I'm glad you're among us now, and I'm glad to be here, fighting Mithras and the Aul. Stay safe, my lord, and you too, madame. You're a hero, you all. Let's go to keep level two, and go talk to... And not him. 
to Mudam. Mudam. Welcome back, Scout. What have you for me now? I've returned my brother to Avalon, sir. He's resting now in the infirmary. That is great news. I must say that my hopes have begun to fade. Make certain the monks give him the best care. I have, sir. There is more that I should report to you, but Sir Roth told me to pass it on to no one else. It's about Overon, sir. You mean General... No, sir. Not anymore. He led his men into slaughter, sir, and passed secret documents to the Awul. I understand. Sir Roth will send for me when he requires me. I would thank you for your report, but I think you will forgive me if I do not. But you, you need to get some rest. This war is far from over, and I have a feeling the next chapter in it will happen... Oh my goodness, the next chapter in it will soon be upon us. I will, sir. And sir, you have my thanks both for your training and your kindness. Good night, sir. Yay! Woohoo, yeah! Alright, let's go back to our room. And we're gonna put this, deposit this really good armor we found. Okay, let's see. We have a fine curious that we found. Look at those stats. Versus those stats. Okay. Minus 5, 2, 3, 10. 5, 2, 3, 10. Okay, that's the same. 6, 7, 9, 4. 6, 7, 9, 4. Wow, it's not that much better, actually. Huh. It's a tiny bit better, so... We'll put that there and that there. Now... Steel half greaves. Are these better? Three one three three three. Okay. Minus the stealth and defense and plus the restriction. Hmm. Wait. Okay. These are the fine steel knee pads. Oh. Hmm. Okay, three, six, seven. Oh wow, these. Wait, what? Which ones are these? I see. Their armor is way better, but they do restrict you more. That's fine though. We'll put these in here. A helmet. Let's compare these two helmets. Four, three, two, two. Four, three. Two, no, three, three, two, two. Huh. This one's better. Splint Hobrick. Black boots. Giant's pauldrons. We'll just keep these on us, like I said. Steel gauntlets. We'll put these in here. No, we will not. We will move this right here. This chain out there. Put this right here. Let's just put this club right here. So this is for sale. This is for sale. And this is for sale. Now the giant pauldrons, I think I can keep on us so that we can switch into them when we're doing our sword and shield <laughs> thing, I think. That is some really good stats. Strength plus three. Oh my goodness. You know what? It might be worth just using these anyways. Look at these. What's the stealth penalty for? Hmm. I don't know. That strength and constitution bonus is just incredible. And plus to hit points as well. Hmm. I don't know. And then good armor. Jeez. I don't know. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, let's put our hat back on so we don't forget it. Bam, sis. And look at our adventure log. My duty is complete now. For now, I have done all I may until the day dawns of noon. My time here in Avalon has been strange and frightening, and as I return to my chambers for sleep, I feel no shame in admitting that I fear what dreams may visit me. A new chapter, Mudam said. A new chapter indeed. More than ever, I wonder if I truly possess what will be required to see this through. I wonder. Well, you know, hopefully you do. But if that fight against that ogre is any indication, 
Uh, I don't know. Anyways, I just want to thank you then for joining me on this episode, this final episode of Chapter 1 of my Let's Play of Siege of Avalon. Here are my chant, Idle Wisdom. Take care, y'all.